Well, what do you feel like uh, I'm going to get back out there these last couple days and get things oh, rolling again? It's super fun out there. I mean, we've been doing summer workouts for the last two, three months um, just to get back out there and play football. What we all have been waiting for. So we're here and just having fun with it. Is your approach different this year now, kind of, you know, being the, being the guy back there, being the workhorse and, you know, opposing defenses are going to be focusing on you? Is this fall camp different for you? Uh, it's a lot different. I, I came in last year. I had a lot of experience. It was my first year. I started running back in my career with high school and all that. So I got a lot of experience with that. So coming in this year, I just feel like I got a lot smarter as far as knowing what defenses want to throw at me this year, knowing where the safeties are, where the backers are, where my double teams are going to get to the linebackers. So this fall camp, I just really more of a student, more want to play without the ball. What, what has made you so good as a receiver? I mean, obviously you played the position sort of a little bit here and there in your career, but what, what's enabled you to kind of be able to be such a threat doing that? Um, in high school, I had about three and a half years behind me playing receiver, so catching the ball for me is, is pretty easy. And uh, that, I feel like I'm a threat out the backfield catching the ball, and that's why. You, you, you don't look like a wide receiver. I mean, that's, that's the thing. It's just, it's, I think it's just kind of surprising to see a guy your size being able to be able to handle the ball that well. Right, I mean, I wasn't always this size. So when right. I was in high school, I was probably 100, 155 pounds. So, I mean, and I, that's all I did with, was play receiver and do receiver for the past three years and drill and drill and drill. So my hand-eye coordination got really good from that. So you're like a small slot guy, and now you're the 210-pound running back? Right? Yeah, I was playing receiver. I was about... 155, 175 I got up to, and then now I'm playing running back at 210. But I still have my speed, I'm still flexible, still can catch, still agile. But Brett was saying that you, know, you eat really well and you take care of your body, I mean, how big is that? And you guys, you know, making healthy meals together at the place? Or what's yeah, that like? man, I never really understood how much health went into actually playing football and putting and doing the right things for your body. So this off season, I, got, I put a plan together with the nutrition lady here, Aaron and Pitt and all those guys, and we got a plan. And it's a certain amount of calories I have to take in, a certain amount of fat, a certain amount of protein, all that stuff. And I feel like I feel better. You know, my body is more healthier. I feel like I can run all day. I feel like I'm better in shape. Is that something you got from Jay? I mean, what what what, what, you, what motivated you to kind of go to those lengths to make sure you're doing everything kind of right in terms of what you eat and staying in physical shape? I just honestly want to be the best. That's that's a sacrifice I had to make, so that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. With uh, um, do you feel relatively fresh though? I mean, like you know, you played a lot of receiver in high school, yeah. so you haven't had like a ton of carries right. on your body. Do, do do you feel like you're 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 still pretty fresh in those regards? I do, honestly. Um, play receiver. Obviously, you don't get hit that much like that. And you know, it's just one-on-one -on -one tackles. And then coming in college, playing running back, I do still feel fresh. So, I mean, I take care of my body as well. I'm in the training room mm -hmm. a couple hours a day just to keep that consistency going on. How much more efficient do you feel like you got uh, in terms of how you ran as the season progressed last year? A lot. Um, I felt my progression really on the up uh, when we got to conference last year. So I got my confidence. Those first couple of games, I was still trying to fill myself out with the running back position. You know, it's a different being in the backfield and then being lined up out in receiver. It's a different view. So, and then getting that uh, year behind me last year, I'm really more confident in what I'm doing this year. There's been a uh, there's been a lot of great running backs that have came through here and. Talking with Coach Marks the other day, I mean, he's he's kind of speaking to to your skill set where you're a pretty good pass catcher. But he says that, you know, Boise State's never had a running back like you before. And when you kind of look at the guys that have, have come through here, what does what does it mean to get a compliment like that? Um, it's huge. I mean, we work on everything. I mean, he works on everything with me. But most important thing for me going forward is being able to do things without the ball, whether that's catching, whether that's being a decoy, so that Chad or Spurback can get on top of the, the defense, I'll pull the safeties up, whatever it takes. So I just want to um, play without the ball better this year. And all the compliments are good, but we just got to keep working. Well, Jay, there was obviously a lot of hype for his junior year coming into the year and everything. You, you know, you coming off the last year, you're up for some awards and stuff. You're getting a little talk, you know, nationally. How are you kind of trying to handle all that as coming into the season? I just. It's, for me, it's just one to know, getting better with my team. I mean, awards, we'll worry about that after the season. It doesn't matter right now. It's the 2016 Broncos, taking game by game, going one to know each week. Coach Marks did say, though, that you knew about the fact that you didn't get picked for the preseason uh, 
All Mountain West team for running back. So how'd you see that? Or were you aware of that? What was kind of your reaction when you saw that Hill and Pumphrey got it over you? Uh, I mean, those, those guys are great. Those guys are good running backs. We have a ton of good running backs in the conference. So kudos to them. Um, I mean, I've, I've heard about it around the facility. Um, I mean, I got a chip on my shoulder regardless. So we're just going to keep moving forward and getting better.